Welcome to season number three of the Olympic Lead Ace Career Mode, where we're in Champions League, boys, and we're going for the trouble this year. Yes, we are going to go for all three trophies. The Coupe de France, the League One Uber Eats, and of course the Champions League. Yes, we are in the Champions League this year. Last season, we made the qualification stages into the Champions League, where we ultimately ended up losing. I, I can't remember who we lost to in the qualification rounds, but we were relegated to the Europa League, where we ended up losing to Frankfurt in the round of 16 probably one of the biggest upsets of all time. We also lost in the Coupe de France semi-finals to our rivals OGC Nice, so we went out and stole one of their young, youthful center backs. Yes, there he is right there, Januel Bellican. I, I know I'm not saying that right, uh, but we got him for 2.8 million. Then we also went out and filled out one of the objectives, and that was sign a crucial first team midfielder. We did that so that we didn't get fired. Go ahead and take a look at my manager rating up there, boys. I'm in the red right now, so I'm definitely on the hot seat. But yes, we signed Lovro Mayer for a swap deal. We swapped Maxence Kakare, who has been here since day one, for Lovro Mayer and 19 mil. And now this is currently what the squad is looking like, boys. We have moved Jorginho to the bench. Yes, our 86 rated central midfielder has been moved to the bench. We have made room for Lovro Mayer, an 84 rated left footer, so I think he'll be very good on that left central mid side next to McKinney. Yes, Weston McKinney had a tough season two finale last episode. McKinney, if you see how this went over. A few moments later. All right, McKinney's coming up. That that dude is trash right now, but I expect him to fully make up for it this season. He has been so great for us for the entirety of the career mode, pretty much. He just had a couple mishaps last season towards the end, uh, but I expect him to get back on track. And a 39-year-old Cristiano Ronaldo ended up winning the League on Golden Boot. What a stud. And of course, the highest rated player in the squad is none other than the American, Captain America himself, Christian Pulisic. He had like 19 goals and 19 assists last season. He had 38 goal contributions in total, which was kind of ridiculous. And of course, we signed the Barcelona wonder kid Pablo Torre to a permanent deal for 12 million pounds when he was worth 12 and a half million. I can't believe they sold him to us for that cheap. But he, I, I, I mean, I really enjoyed using him last season. However, there are some players I don't plan on using this season. Speaking of players I don't want to keep, Tete just came back from his loan spell at Chelsea, where he scored seven goals in seven matches, which is just ridiculous but he is an 87 rated we're gonna add him to the transfer list it says we can probably get around 92 million we can for sure get like 110 million since he's on contract for another three years i don't know maybe you guys want me to keep tete but i really just don't favor him at all i just can't figure out how to use him when i'm playing with him so i feel like we should just sell him get some extra cash for him and then add that to the transfer budget and speaking of transfer budget, let's go ahead and swing there right now. Yes, 132 million pound budget. That is going to be able to work wonders for us. However, we can't spend anything crazy because we can't get anybody over the rating of 84, I'm pretty sure. Um, however, this is a new season and we are in Champions League. Sometimes that kind of readjusts how FIFA... Uh, allows players to be transferred so maybe we can get somebody over 85 oh my god and it looks like we can approach to buy players that are over the rating of 85 look at this Kylian Mbappe is a 95 rated on PSG of course we're not gonna buy him um, that wouldn't make any sense it wouldn't be any kind of realistic um, and we don't even have cash to buy Mbappe however this shows that we can approach to buy 85 rated players they're asking 362 million we're not going to be able to buy Mbappe I just wanted to use him as a reference and see if we can buy anybody actually over 85 this is big boys this is big time we can actually spend our entire budget on players this time and I'm gonna sim a couple days here see if any new notifications pop up if we get any offers we do get our first offer of course, there is the transfer budget increase indicating that we do have $134 million in the budget to spend this year. And then Todibo gets an offer from Latium, $52 million. Wow. Um, yeah, Lazio, I'm sorry. That's going to be a no. Todibo was our best defender last season. I really enjoyed him. He improved drastically from the first season and i think it is important that we take a look at the objectives for this season of course we are in the red right now so we should take these objectives very seriously right now so the first one is within the same season sign two crucial first team players and make a profit of 50 million if we sell tete we've got that profit already done 
Um, but we do need to sign two crucial first team players. We are going to take a look at the squad and see what areas need reassessing. So we'll take a look at that and then sign two players of a different nationali na nationality. Sorry, I can't talk from the one of the club. So two players that aren't French. That should be pretty easy and get 10 games in away matches without defeat. That should be pretty easy this year. Youth development. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get that second one, but, but we got that first one done. Uh, brand exposure, get 10 games away matches. Already done that. Already done that stuff. They want us to win the UEFA Champions League, boys. Oh, my God. That means they are backing us to win. I mean, that makes sense why they're giving us such a big budget. However, winning the Champions League, boys, this is our first season in it. I don't know if we should expect that. I mean, that's crazy. We do have Mr. Champions League himself, Cristiano Ronaldo. However, I have flirted with the idea of possibly selling him. Are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? So stay tuned for that. I don't know what we're going to do yet. So essentially, the biggest objective is to sign two crucial first team players basically that is the biggest objective right now i'm waiting to see if we get any offers we do get some offers here oh my god and another offer for another center back of ours lukeba comes in 40 million from spurs don't really want to do that one however i feel like he would flourish under conte and then the second offer here is for daniel malin it's a swap deal with robin gozins we don't need another left back we already have mendy and we have window so we don't need another left back I would just want straight cash from Allen. Oh my god, do we sell Malin though? We might be able to get around 100 million. This is from Atalanta. I really just don't see that as a club he would go to right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and reject this straight up. I don't think Atalanta is a club that Malin would end up going to. And as I'm simming a few days, my manager rating is somehow going up a little bit. Doesn't make sense how. I have not done anything yet. We are on July 7th right now, going into the 8th. Um, still really haven't received any kind of offers for anybody like Tete or anything like that. Uh, just an offer for our goalkeeper, um, from Portland Timbers. All right, boys, and looking at the squad, there's a few positions that I do want to address. The main one, however, being the right wing side. I feel like Roman Feb did not give too much production last season. I know his stats were okay. I think he had like 15 goals and 12 assists, somewhere around there, which is pretty damn decent. Um, but I really was starting to unfavor him in that position. He was just too slow for me. He's, his pace is only 79, especially on a wing. That's not very good. And he just wasn't as good on the ball as he was in the first season. Um, so I do think I want to adjust the right wing side, boys. There was times I was choosing Cherokee to play on that right wing side over Roman last season. And if you're a first team player, that really shouldn't be happening. And to be honest, Roman only grew like two or three ratings last season, so he didn't grow too much he doesn't have very much potential so i do think i want to address the right wing side lukeba and todibo are technically the lowest rated players in the squad um i just don't know i just don't know if i keep them or sell them they did give up a little bit too many goals last season the back line did i do want to give these guys a chance to continue growing maybe however we do sell diamonde and then we get another like 84 rated center back to kind of rotate in and out with Lukeba and Todibo. Um, I think that is actually a really good option. So maybe we sell Diamonde, get somebody else for him. And speaking of Todibo, we do get another offer. This one is from Juventus. They want my boy Todibo. That's going to be a rejection though. However, there is a player from Juventus that I do want to get. So stay tuned for that. And real quick, I do want to say thank you guys so much for joining me on this career mode adventure. It's been so fun so far. We are on season three, which seems like season one and two just flew by so quickly. And I really do appreciate all the new viewers, all the new people who are subscribing if you haven't subscribed go ahead hit that sub button we are trying to get to 100 subs before the end of january i really feel like we are on the uptrend and i really think it's all because of you guys so thank you guys very much now let's go ahead and get a winger now i have gone ahead and added some players to the transfer list of course you see them right there rafael Leal. he's not a right winger so i don't think he would really do well on that right wing side i love him so much of course ac milan is my favorite squad i'm so bummed that we just ended up losing to inter milan the derby in in the super copa final that kind of sucked that game was in like abu dhabi or something or some somewhere in the middle east but it's good to see italian football is being uh, represented throughout the world so that is pretty cool so i just don't think rafael leal would work on that right wing side so we're gonna go ahead and remove him from the transfer list of course federico chiesa is that juventus player i was talking about 
This boy is so freaking good. He is a left winger in the game. However, for the Italian national team, he plays on that right wing side. Of course, Insigne, when they won the Euros two years ago, shout out them. Insigne played on the left wing, Chiesa on the right wing, Immobile down the middle. So Chiesa can definitely play on that right wing side and his contract is expiring. Imagine we get him for a discounted price. That would be ridiculous. And the thing I love about Chiesa is his pace is so crazy. 93 acceleration, 94 sprint speed. Totally night and day difference from Chiesa to Roman Fevd. I think Chiesa is the upgrade we are looking for. However, we're going to go ahead and keep looking at a couple other players here. Mikel Oyarzabal is a player that I feel like doesn't get talked about enough. This man is so consistent for Real Sociedad every year, year in, year out. He has that leadership trait, which is very nice to see. So he could be a captain. However, that's taken by Lafont at the moment. And Oyarzabal can play left wing, right wing. He is left footed, so he can cut in. And he has pretty decent speed. However, I just feel like he's just too similar to Roman Fevd. Um, I just really want to get away from that. So I'm going to go ahead and say no to, to Oyarzabal. Of course, Raheem Sterling is linked away from Chelsea just six months after signing with Chelsea, which is kind of crazy to see. But Chelsea is really doing a club clear out and then getting some brand new talent in. So it makes sense for Raheem to go out and find another home. Of course, he's going to be very expensive. He's going to be a lot more expensive than a three years younger and one rating higher Federico Chiesa. So again, I would totally choose Chiesa over Sterling. Another option here was Kulisevsky. Once again, he's going to cost more than Federico Chiesa. I just, and he's just not as fast as Chiesa. So I'm just going to go ahead and right now say no to Kulisevsky. Anthony was another one that I was thinking about. However, it just doesn't make sense. He just made his move to Manchester United. I feel like going to Lyon would maybe be a step back. I mean, technically we're both in the Champions League, but it just doesn't make sense for Anthony to want to go to Lyon, to go to France from um, Manchester United, from England. It just, it just doesn't make sense. So I'm going to say no to Anthony. And then, of course, you know I had to bring a Brazilian into the fold. Rodrigo from Real Madrid. Um, he is a very good player. I feel like he doesn't get the flowers like some of the other players do. I feel like he scored some banging goals in big-time moments. Um, and he's only 23 years old. In real life, he's only like 20, 21 years old right now. He's worth 84 to 67 million. So he's around the same as Chiesa. What is his sprint speed? His sprint speed is just as good as Chiesa, if not a little bit better. Oh my goodness. I really like that a lot. Uh, what is his foot? He's right footed, just like Chiesa. He's the same height as Chiesa. Uh, both skill moves, four star, four star. I mean, they are almost practically the same exact player. However, Rodrigo is on Real Madrid. I do think the move is to go for Federico Chiesa, boys. I hope you guys are in agreement with me. I hope you guys are excited by this move. But we're going to go for Federico Chiesa right now before he negotiates a new contract and then makes him more expensive after that. We're going to get him for a discounted price right now. Let's approach to buy Federico Chiesa. Oh my god, they want Roman Fev. Oh my goodness, I don't want to give up Roman Fevd. He's going to be here for the entirety of the career mode. I just feel like, I don't know, I want to pat his stats, I guess. Even if he's coming off the bench or starting once in a while, I do want to keep him, so we're going to remove him. However, maybe we give them Ryan Cherokee. Yes, he did score some big goals for us last season, but I'm going to go ahead and try this swap deal. Let's do Cherokee plus $38 million. Let's see what they say about that. They do want Cherokee. That is going to be a possibility, but they do want to add $45 million to that. Um, hmm. Let's do $39 million. Come on, Allegri. Come on, don't be stingy. Okay, they do accept that. Ryan Cherokee is going to be moving to Juventus. Chiesa is going the other way here to Lyon. Oh, my God. I, I didn't even realize Chiesa is making 200 bags a week. Yo, that's crazy. Rodrigo is making 195, so it'd be about the same. Of course, I do want to make him a crucial squad role player so that we get that objective Halfway done, at least, for now. You're going to do a five-year contract here. I, I don't expect him to want a release clause. Yeah, he doesn't. And I don't expect him to want 200 bags a week now that he's in France. So I'm going to go ahead and offer him 150. That's going to make him the highest paid player on the squad. He's going to accept 150. He wants a signing bonus. There it is, boys. Federico Chiesa is in the squad. He's accepted the terms. Here he is, boys. He's going to sign a ball. He's meeting the fans outside of the building. Yes, there he is signing the kids' balls. That is awesome to see. Federico Chiesa walking in the building. I'm going to greet him. Shake his hand. Man, I wish I was doing that in real life. That would be so crazy. Uh, what a surreal moment. 
He's making his move from Juventus to Lyon. Hopefully he doesn't have that injury prone trait because he has been very injury played at Juventus. Um, so that's another reason for him to get his move, get a, a breath of fresh air pretty much away from Italy into France. There he is putting on the Lyon kit. Wow, he looks so freaking good in that Lyon kit. Federico Chiesa coming in the squad. Let's see what kind of rating we get for this. Of course, we did send Cherokee the other way. I'm sorry, Cherokee fans. I just feel like we grew him to a pretty good rating, and I feel like it's just a good business deal. We're getting an excellent player, Federico Chiesa, who is an 87 rated player. We get an A for this deal, boys. Let's go. That's going to bring my manager rating up big time. All right, and we're going to slot Chiesa in for Roman Feft right there. Oh my god, look how many players we have on this squad. This is insane. We got to sell some people. All right, and then let's move Fev to the bench for, I guess, Bulka. And there we go, boys. Now the bench looks absolutely stacked. And then there it is, Federico Chiesa on that right wing side. We are going to put his development plan on a right winger plan. Um, and boys, we are just looking so good. Look at the pace now on that right side, 94 and 91. On that left side, 92 and 94. Boys, we are so quick on the wings. We should be so dominant on the sides. Like I said, he can play the right wing already. It's only going to take him two weeks to officially convert him to a right winger. First preseason game of season number three, boys. And it's against Sevilla, the club that is currently atrocious right now in La Liga. And keep Sevilla in mind, boys. I might be doing something with them very soon, so stay tuned for that. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date and not miss that episode. Let's see how we do with our new signing, Chiesa, in the squad. We do win 3-2. Chiesa gets a debut goal with Iwar. And then who else scores? It is Weston McKinney. We're going to trust him in that midfield this season. Second preseason game is going to be against a very good Spurs team. They have Son on the left and Kane up front still. We are going to rotate the squad, of course. Going to put Malin up top. Um, give Roman a game on the right wing side and then Diamande in the middle for Todibo Peterson on, on the right back side Pablo Torre up front. So it's basically a whole new team um, And then you know what since we're not getting any offers for Tete right now, let's go ahead and put him in the squad um, Maybe if he scores a goal or something some other teams are going to want to buy him and we do end up losing here uh, Roman with the goal. So that's cool to see but Kane and Son on the score sheet that link up is deadly Yo, and check out this offer, boys. It's a loan offer for Diamande from FC Barcelona. Barcelona wants Diamande. That should tell you something. Diamande is a really good player. He's only 23 years old, so he's pretty young. Um, we are looking for a center back, boys, to rotate with Lukeba and uh, Todibo. Of course, I do want to reject this Newcastle offer for Lukeba. Um, but you know what? I think I might accept this. There's really no reason to sell Diamande. He's only worth 14 million right now. So we are going to loan him out, a one-year loan, no option to buy. Let's see what Barcelona comes comes back and says. Who is this going out? Oh, it's a loan, loaned out player. Uh, Jens Kaiser over to the German club Darmstadt. Darmstadt? Stadt? Stadt? I don't even know. Come on, I have so many other players I want to loan out here. Uh, Diamande loan agreement. They are going to accept a one-year deal. Hopefully Diamande accepts that. Then we have an offer here for Ndaye. We're going to accept that. He's pretty old and eh, he's 22, but... Uh, let's get him out of the squad here. And then we already get an offer for Pablo Torre. This man is our backup cam right now. We're going to go ahead and just reject that. And we do get another offer here from Bologna. That doesn't make any sense. And look who we have in the third preseason game, boys. Our newest rivals, Untriked Frankfurt, who knocked us out of the of the uh, Europa League last season. They've got a pretty good team. they got Tarazzi in goal, Goatsy in the middle still. Bruce, no, I almost said Bruce Bowen. Uh, Jared Bowen on the right wing side still. They do have a very good squad. I do want to maybe rotate the squad here. Maybe LaFont take him out and put in... There's Bulka. Give him a game. Malin up top because he is still on the transfer list. Um, I don't know if I want to sell him or not. But I feel like since we can get an over 85 rated player, we might be able to get a better striker option with Ronaldo up top. Um, we did get the win here. We get our revenge against Frankfurt, Chiesa, and Pulisic on the score sheet. Boys, I have so many players that I want to sell and get rid of, but we're not getting any offers. We're just getting a bunch of loan offers. Here's one for Lepinot. Once again, this is another season I feel like he's not going to play very much. Last season, he was loaned out to Hoffenheim for half a year, and he did grow two ratings, so that was pretty impressive. This time, it's from an even better club, Ajax. I think this is the perfect loan option for him to grow so we're gonna go ahead and do a one-year loan option here to Ajax for Lebanon huge signing right there Inter Seals 
Koulibaly signing for 45 million. I heard that he might be on the on the selling block too with Chelsea. Chelsea is just getting rid of everybody they just got. It's kind of crazy. And Diamande is going to accept his loan out offer to Barcelona. Barcelona is getting themselves a good young player. Now that means we need to go out and get ourselves a center back. And Chiesa is officially going to become a right winger here. And he still has some pretty good growth potential. Um, I do want to get his shooting and weak foot up, so we're going to go ahead and do that. It's going to take him 36 weeks. Lepinard did accept his move to Ajax. I think that's the perfect club for him to go to for the next 12 months. We do have another player leaving here. Um, this is Garnacho. That's right. I accepted a loan move for him to Muchun Gladback. I think that's going to be a very good option for the next 12 months for him. Hopefully, he's going to score some goals, play a lot, get some first-team experience with a very good team in a very good league. And then I did accept a permanent deal for Sumare here. Um, looks like I could have gotten more, but I just wanted to sell him. And I did accept another offer. This is for our youth product, Timo Richter, a goalkeeper. We sent him um, to FC Copenhagen. Oh my god, and Dortmund want our boy Mahalin back. This time it's for $83 million. Remember, the very first season... The very first episode, we bought Malin from Dortmund to resurrect his career because at Dortmund, he's played absolutely awful um, in real life. So, no, no shade to him or anything, but he has been playing pretty bad. He has not scored hardly at all. Um, now they want to buy him back for $83 million. Of course, it says we can get over $100 million for him. I don't know if I want to sell him to Dortmund, though. I just It just doesn't really make sense to me to sell him to Dortmund. Um, to go back there. I think we're gonna go ahead and reject this one. I I want what's best for Malin. I want him to go to a premier team, a premier club. Um, just not back. Dortmund is a premier club. Just Dortmund is just not the squad, not the team for him. But we do have our first game of the season, boys. We play Trois, and we are gonna be using this squad to go up to go up against them. Um, do we have to put anybody on the bench here? Yeah, Bukka's on the bench here for some reason. We are gonna put. I suppose Oskachar, since we don't have a center back on the bench now. So Oskachar is going to move into that position until we find a new center back to rotate with Todibo and Lukeba. Oh boy, we're going to be on the road here. This is the season opener. Obviously, the cameras are out. The fans are in the vicinity. Now they're in the stadium. Oh boy, here we go. Last season, we played SS Etienne. The first game of the season and it just did not go well. I think it was a tie or something. Uh, but we have a better squad now. We have a more experienced squad as well. I think we have a squad that's going to challenge for the title. Any ch any, any title. Uh, Champions League, Coupe de France, and of course League 1, Uber Eats. I think we can challenge for any title. This is my first game I played today, so I might be a little bit rusty. Oh, there we go. Iwar is already in. Left foot. Oh my god, this is a new season. This is a new club. And that is the same old Iwar. Unreal with his left foot. He's had some howlers in the previous seasons before, but he's also had mostly bangers, and that's a banger right there, boys. Go ahead, drop a like, drop a comment, and hit the subscribe button for Hussam Iwar. Unreal of a player. First game, first touch of the ball, first goal of the season. Oh, we are looking so fresh right now. We look so fresh. Chiesa's first touch of the ball. Oh, yeah, there we go. Let's get that to Chiesa. Oh my god, Chiesa's so good, bro. Look at him. Look at this guy go. He's going to get that to Ronaldo, his former teammate. Oh my god, Chiesa's going for his first goal. Oh, he just gets stopped at the end there. This is Lovro Mayer's first game. I forgot about that. It just seems like so long ago that we got him. That was the season finale of season two. So if you haven't seen that, go ahead, check that out. Ripper into Ugbo. Oh my god, bro. Our team looks so fresh right now. We look so freaking dominant. Oh my god, Luke is such a monster, bro. Oh my god, Chiesa, his first shot attempt. Oh my god, it's off the post. Oh, so unlucky. That should have been a debut goal for Federico Chiesa. Oh my god, but Tua is not doing anything on offense. We are all over them defensively. They can't handle the pressure right now. I see that run being made, but so does Todibo. All right, Ronaldo. In for Lovro Mayer. Lovro Mayer on his debut game. This could be a goal. Oh my god, it's a great save from Miric. Oh my goodness. We're gonna find, gonna find a shot here. No, we can't. Oh my God, Ronaldo tries the uh, spectacular. Back to Chiesa. Oh my God, Chiesa's gonna shoot this on his left foot. He's not left-footed. It's actually a great shot though. It threatens the keeper, forces the keeper to make a great save. We're actually gonna go short here. 
It's <laughs> gonna run in. It's going to be Chiesa coming after the ball. Oh my god, he is right footed. And he is pretty good on the finesse shots. It's just gonna sail over the net though. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. I don't want this to be one of those games where Twa just somehow sticks around and then they find an equalizer at some point. And then maybe even a game winner. That's kind of seeming what this is gonna be like. Did you guys see that transfer at the top? Top left of the screen? Eduardo Camavinga to West Ham. They've got their man. That is a very good signing for them. What a good ball to Ronaldo. The 39-year-old legend gets it to McKinney. In for Iwar. Oh, my God. Iwar could score again. Iwar could score again. He doesn't. Man, the keepers had a great game. I'm not going to lie. I still want to sell Malin. So let's go ahead and bring Malin in. Hopefully raise his value up a little bit. Tearing down the field. It is Christian Pulisic. Gets that over to Malin. He's going to spank that one time. Oh, Malin almost gets his goal. No way, just ricocheted off one post and then ricocheted off the other. Oh, how unlucky is that, bro? Uh oh, they look kind of dangerous, I'm not going to lie. They look a little bit dangerous here. We look a little bit scattered, but we ultimately are able to stop that attack right there. That would be nice if we get the clean sheet. Oh my god, they're, bro, they have umped up their pressure right now. They look very dangerous at the moment, but Gusto does so well to stay home. Oh, that's going to be out of bounds. It's going to be a goal kick. Yes, it's going to be a goal kick. Maybe we bring in some fresh legs here. Uh, Mayers had a really good start to the season, um, but I'm going to bring in Jorginho there and then swap, Jor you know what, let's keep Jorginho over there and then bring in Pablo Torre for Iwar. I know he scored a goal, but um, he has not looked as good since then. Uh-oh. I'm telling you, this is one of those games where they're just going to stick around, aren't they? And then they're going to find some kind of, by luck of God, goal. Some kind of miracle. Yep, I knew it. I freaking knew it. Oh my God. Thank God. Lafont's able to save that. He saved my heart from dropping. Just going to kick this up. It looks like we are going to get the clean sheet in the first game of the season. That is awesome to see. I was expecting a little bit more goals to happen. Um, but you know what? I'll take a 1-0 win against Twa in the first game of season number three, boys. We're winning the treble this year. Yeah! And we do have another player leaving the squad here. This is Lomani, the right back. I sold him to AZ. He's a 70 overall. He just wasn't going to get any any playing time with us oh my god and it looks like west ham is going for everybody these days holy cow daniel malin gets an offer from west ham who just picked up kamavinga so west ham's going for kamavinga now they're splurging money on malin this could be a team that we do end up selling him to of course malin wouldn't deny a move to london why would he do that um i do want to accept this uh, loan move to fc sarbrucken and if you guys are a fan of the channel for a long time uh, last year, I started a player career mode of Finian Ajax at FC Saarbrücken. Um, oh my god, that brings back so many memories there. I mean, that was only like a year ago. Um, I did take a break, big break. Uh, loan deal for Bulka here. We're going to reject that. He is our backup keeper. And then we still haven't received an offer for Tete. I, I don't know what's going on here. I'm still thinking about that Malin offer, by the way. Um, but the Tete thing is kind of surprising me. I don't know why we haven't gotten an offer for him. And we get an offer here for Rene Adelaide. The 26-year-old, 79 overall. I really don't want to sell him because I just want to have squad depth. After Jorginho, we really don't have any more central midfielders. So I'm going to go ahead and reject that as well. You know what? I'm going to block offers for him. Block offers for Bulka. And then it's another Todibo offer. It just doesn't make sense. He's not going to Arsenal. Um, Arsenal does like a good French center back though, don't they? And I was looking at Upa Makano as a possible center back, but it looks like West Ham picked him up also. So they've gotten Kamavinga, Upa Makano, and now they want a Malin who's 85 rated. West Ham is making big moves, boys. Uh, but we are going to have to find a new, different center back target. Um, the center back target I have been looking at was Bauman, but he just moved to Roma, so that's not going to be an option. Gabriel... Just moved to Milan, so that's not going to be an option. Milinkovic was another player. If you guys don't know Milinkovic, he plays for Fiorentina in real life. He's got very high potential in the game. Um, he's a very good player as well. He's huge. He's like six, yeah, six five, two hundred pounds. And then Mil Milan Skriniar is a very good center back option. A good, how do I say this? Experienced player. Because I feel like we have such young players, Todibo and Lukeba in the center back positions right now. A 29 year old, 87 overall, Skriniar would I think be absolutely fantastic. However, I just don't know. 
I just don't know. I just don't know. But you know what? I think the player I want to go for is a Brazilian. I feel like we need a Brazilian player in the squad. You know Olympic Leonese loves their Brazilian players. And since we're getting rid of Tete, we got to bring in another Brazilian. That's a rule I just made up in my head. So we're going to bring in Roger Ibanez, a very good High potential, 25-year-old, 83-rated Brazilian from RB Leipzig. He's worth about 38 million. Let's go ahead and approach to buy Ibanez. We do have like 99 million in the bank right now. I'm pretty sure. Let's go ahead and see. Yeah, 99 million in the bank. Let's go ahead and offer a transfer fee here of maybe 40 million. Can we do any kind of player swap? Who do we have to player swap? Got a couple players there. Anyone here? Nope, no one there. Strikers. Ronaldo's worth 76 million, bro. How is that possible? That's unreal. Oh my god, he's 39 years old, worth 76 million. Nuts. These nuts. <laughs> Got <he. laughs> Any defenders here? Got a couple defenders, but no one that I'm really interested in selling. Um, a couple young players there. I guess we could just try to get rid of. And die here, but you know what? Nah, that just doesn't make sense. So we're just gonna offer 40 million for Ibanez. Hopefully, oh my god, we've wasted their time. We're gonna have to try for him again. Looks like we are at home here at the Groupama Stadium against. Montpellier. You know what? I should have started Kosri. I forgot. Against his old team. We do still have Kosri. He is transfer listed, however. Montpellier. Hey, no. <laughs> I can't even talk. But Montpellier does have some pretty good players. Mihailovic there in the central midfielder position. Win. Man, our defense is looking so strong so far this season. Malin on the wing to Pulisic. Pulisic is free. Can he make one of those great touches that he's so good at? No, he can't. Iwar sweats it back. It is Christian Pulisic. He shoots it right at the keeper, though. Gusto, come on. We need you, Gusto. Come on, defense. Good, Gusto. Gusto's so strong, bro. Gusto has been doing his push-ups in the offseason. That man is strong right now. Gusto on the overlap. He's also been running 1,000 miles. Malin, back to Gusto. This is unreal. Gusto's playing ability right now. Kenny. On the wing, over to Pulisic. And so, oh, it's going back post. It's not a good ball from Pulisic. That was very awry. Chitato, Gusto, oh my god, bro. Gusto's on another level right now. Over to Pulisic. Pulisic is going to attack the space. He's going to attack the space here. He just forgot the ball. He forgot he had the ball on his foot. Oh my goodness, it's another close game here. Kind of struggling to find the back of the net. Maybe we do bring in... Ronaldo, yet again, maybe I'm making too many substitutes at the moment. Um, we did bring in Tete for this game. I do want to put Chiesa back in. Uh, Tete really hasn't done anything. Gusto, stay in your position. Help! LaFont comes out with a save. LaFont's first save of the game is a big one right there. Over to Tete. Okay, this is where Tete can excel. Tete is very quick. He gets that over to Malin. On the overlap to Gusto. It's a very good play right now. Very good play. I'm feeling good about this. But Gusto, it's not a good entry ball. Oh, my goodness. Nice. Love that, Todibo. I'm going to have to make some substitutes here. Windall, Mayer, entry pass, Iwar. Over to Tete. Oh, my God. Can we get Tete a goal so we can raise his value? No, he, I, I just can't figure out how to use Tete, bro. I can't figure it out. We are going to bring in CR7 himself, the man. And then we are also going to bring in Chiesa on that right wing side. I would love another clean sheet. I mean, that would be crazy, but... I would like to win a little bit more. So I, 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 in order to win, we need to score some goals. It is Iwar tearing down the field. He's going to shoot that with his left foot. It is another goal from Iwar, the only guy who seems to be able to know how to score. Kusem Iwar back at it again with the left foot this time. There is the man that could be the goal that seals the victory for us. Of course, we need to keep up the defense. I don't know how he's doing that handstand. That is very impressive from him. Pulisic going to entry that into Ronaldo. Ronaldo's gonna get that to Windall. Oh my god, it's back for Iwar. Could he give me out his brace? Oh my god, Iwar! Stay strong, Gusto. Oh my god, Gusto's so freaking good. Gusto's on a different level right now. I wanna get this dub. Oh my god, Lukeva's so strong, bro. Okay, we have been hitting the weights. Oh my god. 
Our team looks different. Way different than before. Chiesa. This is Chiesa. This is Chiesa. Oh my god, he's just too quick. Fake shot. He's too quick for his own good, but he gets it to McKinney. McKinney on the finesse. He's kicking field goals again. McKinney's back to field goal kicking. Wrong sport, my guy. Can Gusto make another crazy stop here? He can't. Oh, dude, Gusto's another player, bro. Gusto's a whole new player this season. Come on, Mayor. Let's run. Let's run, Mayor. Maybe this is the time for his opening debut goal. Ronaldo, this could be an assist. I want it is. That's going to seal the victory. Iwar is the only one that can score. But Ronaldo does get another assist. That's going to seal the victory at home against Montpellier. A very good team, by the way. And we're going to get a second clean sheet in a row. We could be turning over a new leaf, boys. You love to see the celebrations there from our team and not the other team. Late in the game like that. Oh, great. Well-placed, well-timed pass from Ronaldo to Iwar. Just on side. Doesn't even get power behind it. He just gets the placement on the ball. Great stuff from Olympic Lyonnais. Season number three is going to be filled with great moments like that. And Juventus want our boy McKinney back. They want to swap Philip Kostic for McKinney um, and 14 million. We're, we are definitely not going to do that. McKinney is not going back to Juventus, just like Malin is not going back to Dortmund. And at the end of episode one, we find ourselves sitting atop the League One table. This is going to be a different year, boys. Stay tuned for it. Go ahead, subscribe if you're not already subscribed so that you stay up to date with what's going on. This is going to be one hell of a season. Um, but we have three goals in the league, zero goals against. And where is PSG? They're nowhere to be found. Oh my goodness, PSG has lost both their first games. This could be our season, boys. With PSG already dropping points like that, we're six points up on them already. But that's going to be it for episode one of season three, boys. I just held up the two. But season three, boys, I'm really excited for this season. Thank you for joining me on this adventure. We made some big moves already in this episode. Mayer came in for that central mid department, and then we brought in Federico Chiesa, one of the highest potential players in the game on that right wing side huge deal there and then we do have some players that we do want to sign so we could be selling tete for over 100 million next episode same with malin uh, so that means we're going to be on the hunt for a new striker and also a new center back if you guys have any suggestions let me know in the comments below of course i do want to get a brazilian player because leon loves brazilian players um, but let me know in the comments below and while you're there go ahead and hit that subscribe button We're trying to get to 100 subs before the end of January. I think we can do it boys. Thanks for watching today I'll see you on the next one later